I've got something on my mind, literally, and I'm going to share it with you on this segment of the Gig Geezer. If this is your first time checking out the Gig Geezer, or if you're a returning visitor of the Gig Geezer, hey, thanks for coming by. And if you would not mind, hit that subscribe button, give my content a thumbs up, share my content among others, and I definitely welcome your comments in this section below. Now, why did I say I've got something on my mind, literally? Back in late July, when um, I had major monumental computer issues, um, I was actually involved in a traffic incident in which I was hit from behind by a vehicle similar to this a 2017 Dodge Ram 1500 Hemi. Now, unlike previous um, incidents in which I've been rear-ended, I simply did not feel right. I mean, I felt um, my back, I felt stiffness, I felt something in my back, I felt something in my neck, I felt kind of, um, I'm not gonna say dazed, but I felt, uh, I felt dazed a little bit. Um, come to find out it was classic, whiplash. But um, what I did was I went to a nearby hospital, visited the emergency room, and got checked out. And um, in the process of being checked out, they took x-rays and they also did a CAT scan just to be on the safe side. Well, um, when the attending doctor came back, he told me, yes, you have classic whiplash, but we also found something else with you. We found in the CAT scan a colloid cyst on your brain. Yes, that's where, yes, that's right. I've got something on my mind, literally a colloid cyst. So what is a colloid cyst? Well, the doctor told me that um, what we're gonna do is recommend you to a neurologist so, uh, for, further, for further inspection and further advice and all. Um, but in, my, in the meantime, I, did my quick research of what a colloid cyst is. I found out that it is rare. Maybe three people, the instances are like three people out of a million. And so with the United States having over 330 million people in the country, that means that maybe at any point, maybe 15, 1,500 people in this country have been diagnosed with a colloid or have, been, or have had discovered a colloid cyst on their brain. It is not cancerous, but um, the estimated size of the colloid cyst in my brain is about 10.4 millimeters. It's not, it's not that large, but it can pose some serious problems. Now, the problem is that if it increases in size, it could explode and it could kill me outright, or it can cause other complications. Um, if it increases in size, it can cut off spinal fluid, which can cause um, medical events a kind to like an aneurysm, or it can cause stroke, it can cause some serious problems. So using some medical talk, in fact, if you look here on this, um, on this um, screenshot, that's actually my brain with that colloid cyst, and, which with the circle around it. It is located in my brain's third ventricle, which is located at the top of my brain. And Again, the spot that circled, which is the cyst, the basic concern is that if it were to increase in size, that's where the problems lie. And so um, the best known treatment at this time is surgery. The question is not, the, the question is really when? At this juncture, I've decided to um, just observe its progress. That's the decision I made at this time. Um, in fact, when I saw the neurologist this past Friday, October 27, 2022, um, he came. He just came out talking about surgery and the pr actual procedure in which uh, they cut, they cut, they cut into your skull, they remove the skull, they go, they remove the cyst from the brain, and that the um, recovery process is about a month. Uh, he also said that uh, there's about a 95% uh, probability of full recovery. Now. Just the mere thought of somebody having to modify my fro in preparation for a surgery 
and then actually having something like this. This is nothing like back in 2017 and 2018 when I actually um, considered hip replacement surgery. And that was upon learning that I had an arthritic hip. In fact, I had chance, I had an opportunity to enter into surgery having done rehab. And I think that helped me in the fact that um, I was actually on my feet the day, of, the day of surgery. They operated on me that morning. I was actually on my feet that evening. Um, and my recovery, um, for example, I was walking, I was walking up to two miles in less than a month. Um, of course, I would go about something like this in terms of the determination to, to um, return back to regular life status the same way. But for myself and many others, the question is, how soon, when will the, the actual surgery be performed? So I have a follow-up visit in December with the neurologist. But before I meet with the neurologist again, they're going to want to do. They're going to want me to have an MRI so that they can examine the process, the the, uh, the progress of this cyst. I guess the concern is it it can increase in size at any point. Now. The neurologist told me that I am asymptomatic and that I have shown no symptoms at this juncture, namely dizziness, headaches, or nausea. But if I were to begin experiencing any of those or any other abnormalities, then I, sh I would have to contact him ASAP immediately because that would be when they would schedule surgery as soon as possible to remove that cyst. So one may wonder, how am I? How, how is the gig user at this juncture? Well, I'm fine. I mean, yeah, I was diagnosed in July. We're almost heading into November. I've been going about doing my gig hustle day in and day out as I have. Um, and you know, um, and I, I've, I've not experienced any complications at this juncture, but it's definitely something that's on my mind, literally <laughs> and figuratively. Also, it has forced me now, having met with the neurologist, to rethink some things, you know, some things that I need to have in place. But the other thing that's all, that he kind of got to thinking with the fro moder with the fro modification, it kind of reminded me of the last time I saw my mother, which was on a slab in a funeral home back in May 1995. My mother died of complications from bacterial. Acute, my mother died of complications from acute bacterial meningitis. And um, while she was in the hospital, they cut, they cut all her hair um, because of them having to, I guess, monitor, because of them having to monitor her, her brain. Um, in fact, when the decision was made to pull the plug on her, it was because the brain swelling had gotten to a point where there was really nothing else that they could do. So that's kind of the thought that I had. It's like, damn, I remember the last time I saw my mother, she had to have all her hair cut and I would have to have all my hair cut. But I guess the good thing for me is that I have a month to recover and for my hair to grow back before people see me again. But that's neither here nor there. Um, but yeah, that's what's on my mind right now. I literally have something on my mind. I have a colloid cyst. I just feel like it's something that is fair to share at this juncture. I mean, you may know somebody. You may know someone who's among those among us 1500 that may have have had this um, detected on our brains. So um, I know it sounds corny to ask if you like the content that's provided, hit that subscribe button and give my content a thumbs up and share my content among others. And I'm welcome your comments in the section below, but I'm still gonna ask because um, this, this you know, in a sense, when you create these gig user when you create these channels you are creating a community within a greater community and you you begin to find out about other people and their lives you find out how you actually touch their lives and actually you find out how you touch my life in ways that you don't even know and so with that that's all i have for this segment of the gig user i'm in with lane and as always may your grind and may your hustle continue